Governor, four years ago, uh, you won election mainly because of a phrase that you used that said, fix the damn roads. We know that there's construction going on because everywhere we go, we see orange barrels. My question is, are we building better roads or are we just putting Band-Aids on a cancerous infrastructure? <laughs> well, you know, I love talking about the roads. The reason I focus on the roads is because when you have a busted rim, it can be money out of rent. It can be money out of child care. And that's why fixing the damn roads has been so important. Let's be clear. We are addressing decades of disinvestment. We've already rebuilt 13,000 lane miles, 900 bridges. There are orange cones and barrels all over the state because we are fixing the roads. The fact of the matter is, this is a huge issue for our economy, our personal safety. It is so crucial that we continue this work, but it's all in jeopardy. As we think about what's Michigan gonna look like four, eight, 12 years down the road, we have to have solid infrastructure. But with plans to cut $12 billion out of the general fund and no plan to replace it, that will set us back in terms of rebuilding infrastructure back to decades of disinvestment. It'll mean money out of public safety and out of our kids' education. We can't afford to have that kind of leadership. Governor, really, very quick follow-up. Yes or no, are we using better materials? We are, we're using the right mix and materials. And as you can see, when you're driving by, we're taking the roads all the way down to gravel and rebuilding them. They're built to last. It's not just papering over like, unfortunately, has been done for years in the state prior to me taking office. All right. Mrs. Dixon, if elected the next governor of this state, will you continue what we see going on with the construction of our roads, or will you change the process in any way, shape, or form? We will work to make sure that there actually is a plan for the roads. She stood on the debate stage four years ago and said she had a plan, but let's remember there was no plan. The plan was to raise the gas tax by 45 cents a gallon, and you would be paying $5 a gallon for gas right now. That obviously didn't work. And then when she was given road funding by the legislature because she didn't get her gas tax increase, she vetoed it. She had a lot of vetoes at that time, also vetoed autism funding for families. This was a tantrum because she didn't get her road funding. We want to make sure that it is a priority. And think about this. If it were a priority back then when she stood on this debate stage, in the four years that the budget increased by nearly $20 billion, you would have thought that she would be able to find road funding in that time to actually fix the roads instead of just throwing a bunch of orange barrels out before the next election. Governor, your rebuttal. So listen, I'm not even going to respond to all of that. I'm going to tell you this. We are going to continue to fix the, fix the damn roads, rebuilding this state. What's up next is Miller Road Bridge. What's up next is Mound Road, 696, 275. These are important arteries in this part of the state that you will see work being done. We need to continue this. It doesn't end. Unfortunately, we have to continue to rebuild infrastructure, but we're making headway and we got to put our foot on the gas. Ms. Dixon. People are wondering when the road from their house to work will be fixed. When will that be a priority? Because it's absolutely true that a broken rim is devastating. I know because I had one this year. In fact, I've had five flat tires on these roads. They are a total disaster. And they're costing the people of Michigan $5,000 a year in road repairs. So if this is how she fixes the roads, well, I guess we can look back at her other promises too. What were they? Transparency, clean water, fixing the roads, failures.